me, and this is my 400 acre animal sanctuary. Now, I've never built or dug a well before, and I've never even lived off grid, but a few things that I learned from growing up on a farm and a few years in rescue, I'm gonna give it my best shot today. Let's see how it goes. Holy crap. So we're about two hours behind schedule. We had to unlatch everything and reload the gates on. This is the first time I'm gonna pull this trailer up with the ATV and the tractor. It's time to hit the road. We got this covered. So this is the spot that we're staying at. This is a little, I don't say little, this is a big ass ranch. Super nice people. Got to go meet them later on for dinner. Cause yes, they cook you dinner here where you go to the lodge, you eat with them. There's no Wi-Fi, no TVs. No, this is your disconnect. It is pretty sweet here. I don't even want to talk about the drive. The drive was intense, a little stressful, but you know, shit happens. I gotta get to work. We're gonna have a fast paced two days here. The well, cameras, gates, getting the road sorted out, so much shit. Okay, so last time when I was working down here, putting the well in, clearing the area, I had the tractor, the excavator, and I had a GoPro on it showing the time lapse. Somewhere along, it popped off. So now, it is metal detector time. A $40 metal detector to find a $500 GoPro. You better believe it. So wait, if we do, what about the static? Some oh. Way to go, Steve. Look at that. Wait, wait, here's the true test. Up here in a tree, we have cameras. Now, all the access points, we're all the way up here. Nobody's nobody's getting up here to get that. So with these cameras, I can move them around. I can do 380 uh, or 180, like all these different things. This is really cool. But uh, now I need to get down. That's how far up I am. All right, so we officially have water, but this is coming straight from our ground. That's pretty awesome. It's even more a long day because I allowed someone else to participate in a build and it ended up messing it up, taking longer. So now, I'm sitting here eating grapes and that. And I'm forced to drink beer because we drank all the liquids today out here. This one's open. I'll close at seven. We have no Wi-Fi, no reception. Kevin's taking up the shower because I'm dirty as shit. Like, I'm so dirty. Oh, I drug this chair into the kitchen because it just felt better. I don't know. What are you doing? Are you okay? Knock twice if you're in... Distress. Uh, what is he doing? We didn't finish today. So early. Tomorrow, we got to go to the property. Finish the well house. Do the gates. Get out of there and do this long drive home. But we're going to get it done. It is about time to head out. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough of this place that we stayed at for this time up here. Beautiful area. Let me fill you in as I walk you through. So this is the main area. This is your living room with the log. 
uh, fire heater, whatever you want to call it, wood stove, um, you know, to get out to the deck. It's very nice. Beauty, look at that. So these cabins, these are the other cabins you can stay in, and those are the ones with more of a view. I just have a huge truck, so we had to pull it in right there. So you get in here, you got a nice little kitchen area. Um, no microwave, no anything if you need to nuke something and get out quick or do that, because you're supposed to be relaxing here, right? Well, there's not a lot to it. Um, yeah, so this is the bathroom. Remember, we have stayed here already. They give you some soap, some amenities. Look at that, extra towels, towels for swimming in the pond. You know, all that good stuff. Do a regular shower. Little toilet, doing its job. Little bedroom, out looking, you got a closet. You know, the bed, it's pretty pretty rough. It's like, it's like what you'd think what a cabin bed would be. <laughs> Yeah, so this is pretty cool. And this is all log cabin, obviously. But you get up here, we had Steve, our land planner, come back with us. So folded out an extra bed from the couch. So that's pretty nice. And you got your two little baby beds. Yep. Closet. That's about it. But that's pretty cool. All in all, cute little cabin. But let's go outside and talk about this. Okay, so here's where you get into it. This is the front area. I even got the truck running. We're ready to go. Now the whole thing about over here, you have no Wi-Fi, no reception. Your phone doesn't work at all. And oh, you about get taken out by birds. <laughs> um, but no, no Wi-Fi, no reception, no TV, no anything. So you gotta be ready to disconnect, like full on. And for any of us, if it's a vacation, cool. There's some stuff to do here, but you gotta like totally disconnect. And that's hard for us because I'm here working. So for me, not exactly a good fit. Um, I need to be able to watch the cameras at the other property, do all that. So it is what it is. It is beautiful, but not my cup of tea because we need to be able to connect and do things and keep on working. So if you're looking to do a vacation and be like away from it, yeah, this is your spot. If you're looking for scenery, hiking, all that, rock and roll, baby. I'm back off to work. I got to get out of here.